Are you an aspiring elementary teacher that needs some help preparing for Praxis Elementary Math Content Knowledge 7813, Operations with Whole Numbers, Algebraic Thinking, Applying Associative, Distributive, and Commutative Properties to Simplify and Solve Problems? I have a video that will give you tips and strategies to help you remember these properties. My name is Tom, and I am a test prep expert here at study.com and a certified teacher, and I will walk you through some of the problems you may see on the test. Let's take a look at some problems. Jamal group numbers in a different way to solve this. Parenthesis 6 plus 4 plus 5 equals 6 plus parenthesis 4 plus 5. What does this equation demonstrate? Is it A, distributive property, B, commutative property, C, associative property, or D, identity property? The first thing we want to look at is, did the order of the numbers change? Okay, so we can see we have 6, 4, 5 on the left side, and 6, 4, 5 on the right side. So the order didn't change. So in a commutative property, the order is going to flip. It's going to change around. So it can't be commutative property. Distributive property involves multiplication. So we're multiplying by a number out front of the parentheses. So that is the wrong choice here. The identity property is where you multiply a value by one and it remains the same. So that choice is eliminated. So the correct answer here is C, the associative property. An associative property regroups values and keeps the values the same on each side. So grouping 6 plus 4 first plus 5 is equal to grouping 4 plus 5 first and then adding it to 6. So the correct answer is C, associative property. Michael needs to solve 4 times the quantity 5 plus 9 using the distributive property. What is the correct solution? All right, so we have our four choices there. So we have to remember with the distributive property that we're multiplying each term inside the parentheses by the number out front. So we're going to have 4 times 5 plus 4 times 9, and that would be 20 plus 36, which would give us our answer of 56. So the correct answer here is choice A. Maria has four boxes of crayons with six crayons in each box. Her classmate Jordan has six boxes with four crayons in each box. They both say they have the same total number of crayons. Which property justifies their reasoning? Is it A, associative property, B, distributive property, C, identity property, or D, commutative property? All right, so Maria has four boxes with six crayons in each box, so that if we multiply that, we would get the total number of crayons. Jordan says six boxes with four crayons, so we have the six first times the four. Now, if we look at this, all we've done is reverse the order, okay? So when you reverse or change the order of multiplication, the values are going to remain the same. And this property is called the commutative property. And a way to remember commutative is we can see the word commute in there. So when we commute, like we can commute to work, so we're moving, we're driving in our car to work. So that's a good way to remember moving things around. So this is the commutative property of multiplication, choice D. A student wrote this equation to solve a problem. The quantity 3 times 2 times 5 is equal to 3 times the quantity 2 times 5. Which property is the student using? Is it A, distributive property, B, commutative property, C, associative property, or D, multiplicative identity property. All right, so when we look at this here, similar to the earlier problem, the order of the numbers is remaining the same. So we have the three, two, and the five, and the three, two, and five on this side in the same spot. So we haven't moved anything. We haven't moved the numbers and changed that, the order. So the commutative property is eliminated. The other thing we want to look at here is the multiplicative identity property is when you multiply by 1, the value remains the same. So we don't see a 1 in here, so I'm going to eliminate choice D. So we're between the distributive property and the associative property. Okay, so with the distributive property, we would need to show that the number out front is being multiplied by each value and written out on the other side, and that's not the case here. So choice A is eliminated. So I can see here that we are regrouping using parentheses, regrouping the numbers here. So the correct answer here is C, associative property. Okay, those were a few examples of applying associative, distributive, and commutative properties to simplify and solve problems. 
Hopefully this video gave you some strategies to help you remember the properties. For more practice, check out our Praxis Elementary Math Content Knowledge 7813 playlist. And for even more detailed practice, strategies, and customizable study materials, head over to study.com and check out our Praxis Test Prep course. With our resources, you'll know exactly what to expect on test day. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get all the latest practice test updates. And please leave your questions and success stories in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.